Do you know that there is a way to play PlayStation exclusives like God of War 3 Remastered, Ghost of Tsushima, God of War Ascension, or even Bloodborne on PC? And no, you don't even need a console for this. So what am I even talking about? How you can play games from PlayStation on PC? Basically what I will show you is how to set up PlayStation Plus app. This will allow you to stream games from PlayStation servers, so even if you have a potato PC, you will be able to play everything in good quality and in good FPS. Here is a list of PlayStation exclusives available in this service. This method is fully safe, and of course it is not free, but trust me, it is definitely worth it. Step 1. You will need a US PlayStation account, and you don't necessarily have to be in US to create it. So to create it, just go to official PlayStation site and click here, sign in and create an account. Now just enter here the region you want to create your account at. Streaming on PC is only available in these countries. So if you are not living in one of them, choose US, then enter your date of birth, you must be at least 18, and then your mail, password, etc. You will also need to give here your city, region and postal code it don't really have to be your address. Then just place your online ID, that is just your nickname, and your first and last name. Afterwards, you can just uncheck these two so you won't have any unnecessary notifications on your email. And just agree and create an account. Now, you will be asked to verify your email. To do it, just go to your Gmail and you should see this mail. Just open it and click Verify button. If you don't see it, make sure that you gave the right email. You can always resend it. Then click Already Verified. Now you should be redirected to official Sony's site and you should be now logged in. Keep in mind to never log out because you will have to solve some crazy puzzles that are difficult even for a human to solve. Step two. Now, if you have an account, you can go to this site and you'll see that the price of PS Plus Premium is $18. For some people, it may seem like a lot, but in my opinion, it is much better than buying the console to play these games. If you are not living in United States, you can't just give here your non-US credit card details. And I know that most of you anyway don't want to add your credit card here. So if you want to pay from anywhere, you can just use gift card. You can buy them from any site that you want. I will link you some trusted sites in the description. One of the best sites to buy them is G2A because they offer the best currency conversion. So you don't have to pay anything to your bank, which is kind of nice. So to buy them, go to this site and you can here set your country and your currency. Keep in mind to buy the gift card for the same country you created your account at. If you created it in US, choose United States. Sony don't have $20 gift cards, so you can just buy two $10 ones. You can even set payment methods for your country. You will get them automatically after payment. Then go back to PlayStation site and you can now buy PS Plus. Sometimes there is a bug on this site and there's infinite white screen. So if you have something like that, just get it from PlayStation store, not from PlayStation site. Now it should work. To add funds to your wallet, click on your account icon and select redeem code and paste here your codes. Now new payment method will appear in this window. If you don't want to pay tax, just create an account in tax free state. But I'm a good citizen, so I will pay tax. Then just click confirm purchase and you officially have bought PS Plus Premium. I suggest canceling it immediately after buying it, in case you forget about it. To do it, just go to Subscription Management and click Cancel button. And now you don't have to worry about your next payment. Step 3. When you have PS Plus, you can now install PlayStation Plus app on PC. Just go to this site and scroll down to this button. Just download it and go through installation process. Then click sign in and sign in to your account. You now have access to PlayStation Plus app.
As I said in the beginning, this app is only streaming games from PlayStation servers, so your PC doesn't really matter. You can even have $20 CPU. What matters is your internet connection. This is very important step, because you may have really choppy gameplay if you skip this. Sony recommends at least five megabits per second. Here is my internet results. What I recommend is connecting to your router via cable. This will improve your internet connection significantly. If you can't, at least make sure that your connection is stable. From what I've seen, Sony's servers have improved a lot, so your gameplay is not crashing every five minutes, but still your connection is crucial on their platform. Step four. If you have done everything in this tutorial, you can now finally play any game you want from this app. To play, you will need DualShock 4 controller or just any different one like from Xbox. But some games from PlayStation requires touchpad. If your controller doesn't have it, you may be stuck at some point, and you will not be able to continue playing this game. So I recommend just using DualShock 4 from the beginning. You can connect it to your PC with micro USB. You can also go wireless. But to do it, you will have to buy a different thing from Amazon. I'm too broke to get this, so I will just stay with my cable. You can now open PlayStation Plus app. Before you start playing, make sure to check if you have these two turned on. They improve your game's performance, here you can change the control from mouse to pad. There is no way to search for the game, so you just must scroll and look for it. But when you scroll down, you have them alphabetically. This will make it easier. If you want to play, just click on the game you like and click start. Make sure that your gamepad is connected. And this is it. Your game will now start loading. You can see how smooth the gameplay is. In reality, it was even smoother. OBS just cut the quality a little bit. Once you are in the game, I would suggest to turn off vibrations because your pad will start shaking like a little helicopter. So just click PlayStation button on your pad and turn off vibration in Vibration Settings tab. This is of course not fake and it is 100% legit. You seriously can stream it. I will now show you some examples of how games run on this app. So for example, Ghost of Tsushima. Surprisingly, it runs not bad. There is little input lag, but it doesn't affect the gameplay, so I would consider it playable. God of War Ascension. This game is at this moment unplayable on PC using RPCs 3. So PlayStation Plus app is the only way to play on smooth 50 or 60 FPS. I love it. Bloodborne. I don't like playing on pad, so my gameplay may seem weird, but this is the same as Ghost of Tsushima, playable with little input lag, almost imperceptible. Spider-Man. Unexpectedly, this game is running very, very good, almost like on normal PC. This game is very good playable. There are little FPS drops in the city, but in the missions, it works really fine. This is one of the games that just feels good when playing it. God of War 3 Remastered. This game works like a charm. Very, very smooth 60 FPS. It's an amazing experience playing this game after playing only on RPC's 3 emulator, Horizon Forbidden West. This game is coming out on PC in one month. If you want to play it before this date, this is the only way. It works not bad. It's something similar to Ghost of Tsushima, but a little bit worse. It is also playable. Now, huge pro tip for everyone. If you play AAA game, set camera sensitivity to the slowest because your camera speed is, at least for me, too fast. You can change it in every game settings, somewhere in camera or controller tab. It depends from the game. If you have any questions, write it down in a comment. I will try to answer. So to sum up, this app costs you $20, but you get access to over 100 games from PlayStation, of which some are Sony's exclusives, and you can't play them on PC. In my opinion, it is worth it, and you should try it. I think that this is it. Really, thanks for watching, and thanks all of you for hitting 1K subs one week ago. That was very amazing experience for me. Have a nice day.